Have you ever done something simply due to pride or out of fear of what others might think of you? Hans Christian Andersen's The Emperor's New Clothes is a tale of an entire kingdom that ignores the obvious for fear of judgment, only to be called out by a child. In this story, the emperor loves fine clothing. Two men, swindlers, arrive in the city claiming to be the best weavers imaginable. They claim that the clothing they make is the finest with beautiful, intricate patterns. The swindlers say that this clothing is also magical and would appear invisible to anyone who was stupid or incompetent. The emperor is excited about this amazing product, and he pays the men a huge sum to make these magnificent clothes. The swindlers then pretend to weave and sew the clothing with empty looms and needles without thread. The emperor sends men to check on the swindlers' work. When each man realizes he sees nothing, he does not want to admit it for fear he would be accused of being stupid and incompetent. So, each man lies to the emperor, saying how the clothing was magnificent. The clothing is brought to the emperor on the day of a great procession. The emperor sees nothing, but he too did not want to admit to being stupid or incompetent, so he agrees that the clothing is exquisite. After being dressed in the invisible garments, the emperor marches in the procession in front of his entire kingdom. Everyone in the kingdom sees the emperor without clothes, but for fear of being accused of being stupid or incompetent, they all sing the false praises of their emperor's fine clothing. Finally, a child says, But he doesn't have anything on. Everyone realizes that if an innocent child is saying this, then it must be true. Everyone starts exclaiming, He doesn't have anything on. The emperor must then finish the procession knowing that the people are right and everyone knows he's wearing nothing but his pride. The moral or message of this tale is that we must not let pride or fear keep us from speaking up. Another moral is that children speak the truth when no one else will. This story shows the importance of proof in the form of empirical data, which is evidence that can be observed through the senses. The Emperor's New Clothes was published in 1837. At this point in time, science was gaining popularity as a method to explaining the world, but there were still many who relied on superstitions and old wives' tales. The moral can be better understood in this context, because if everyone in the story had simply relied upon empirical data, then they wouldn't have been made a fool. This is a moral that can be applied in many different situations, both historically and in modern times. Today, the majority of people accept information when it is backed up by scientific evidence. However, some of these same people might be less stringent in verifying the scientific evidence presented to them. It is important to do your own research to determine if information is valid or not. Perhaps one scientific study was flawed, or many other studies have come to a different conclusion. It is even possible that someone is lying, like the two swindlers, about what the research says. The emperor didn't need to rely on his advisors to tell him that the clothing was beautiful. He could have trusted his own eyes, weighed the fabric to see it weighed nothing, or used his sense of feel to tell he felt nothing. Instead, the emperor believed what everyone else was saying and did not trust his own research and experiences.